our YouTube viewers. Today is a very exciting day today. At least I'm super excited. We are getting ready to drive almost two and a half hours south to pick up two very small creatures. Now, I want you guys to comment down below what you think those two small creatures are. They can get up anywhere between 30 to 40 pounds. They look like a rabbit, but kind of have a deer body. So comment down below what you guys think it is. Well, one second, there's a car going by. But I have the car loaded up. We are getting ready to head down south. Like I said, I'm just excited. I cannot wait to show you guys what these are. Now they do, in order to own these, you do have to have a class three permit, which I do have my class three permit because I have my foxes, of course. And I've had other exotic animals like raccoons, I've had skunks, I've had armadillos, I've had possums, you name it, I've had it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what we have here in the car. And these things are still so small, they're very young. They're gonna need to be bottle fed for the next few weeks and then weaning off and stuff like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got. Hey YouTube viewers, do not mind my messy dirty car. Obviously we do a lot of outdoor stuff. So this animal requires lamb milk. So I had went and picked this up yesterday from Tractor Supply. It seemed to be the only place that I could find it. My feed store that I typically go to did not have lamb milk, but they have like an all-purpose milk. And then I have the crate with a nice comfortable towel in there. So they'll have a nice comfy transportation back. But remember, comment down below what you think we're getting before you actually see what it is that we're getting. Here's it also, I wanted to show you our new shirt. I know it's gonna be backwards here on the computer screen or your TV, wherever you're watching this at. But my brother-in-law had made us these shirts or at least the logo for our shirts, which we just got back in the mail the other day. So we got our Madsons Outdoors YouTube. I think it's pretty cool. Comment below, give us a thumbs up if you like these shirts and see if we can get some more and get my brother-in-law to design some more shirts for us. He did a really, really good job. We got a snake, we got the fishing rod, the little fish. I mean, there's a whole bunch going on and I really like it. I think he did a fantastic job. But okay guys, we're gonna get heading on the road and stay tuned to see what we get. Remember, comment below what you think we're getting. Okay guys, I'm gonna hold you to it. See you guys in a little bit. Okay YouTube viewers, we are on the road. We are making our way down south to go pick up these two cute little baby creatures. And as you can see, it is a perfect day to be driving. It's a good thing we didn't have to go fishing or do anything outside. So we're gonna take a nice, long, slow trip in this beautiful weather down south. Two hours later. Viewers, after a two and a half hour drive, we are here. We're gonna be getting our special two new babies adding to the Madison Outdoors family. Now remember, I wanna see comments down below if you can guess what it is. Now, I will not be recording when we go in there to pick them up because I'm not exactly sure if they're okay with that and stuff because this looks like it's at a, looks like it's at a stall. So there's gonna be horses and everything else here. Um, so I don't want to risk or bother anybody's privacy. So we're going to go in there and we're going to go get these two new little babies. Spears, we just got them. I'm going to show you guys here in three, two, come on, last chance to guess what it is. One. Ta-da! They are called Patagonian Cavies or Maras. Look at them. They are brother and sister. They are absolutely adorable. The people are nice enough to let us keep their crate. Uh, I did bring a bigger crate, but we'll just keep them in this one for right now. For the road trip home, I don't know which one's the boy and I don't know which one's the girl, but absolutely precious. And they gave us like a little care package bag thing right here. It's got formula and a bottle, which was really nice of them. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get these gorgeous beautiful babies back home and get them all settled in two hours later okay viewers we are back home with the babies now this is the little girl the little boy is still in there i gotta make some more formula but what they are drinking right now is lamb milk to replace her and fisher is doing a fantastic job feeding this baby 
So after she is all done eating, we're gonna go ahead and we'll take like a wet wipe and we're gonna rub her bum a little bit to stimulate her to go to the bathroom. And then we're gonna go and clean up around her mouth too because you don't want any dry formula around their mouth. Okay. Okay, pull Earth it away. Angry. We're gonna pull it away a little bit and see how she does. Is that good? Okay. Cause I gave you some more. Mm -hmm. Look Please. how precious these Patagonian cavies are. This now they're nice to me. Mm -hmm. Now they're part of the rodent family. They're kind of like a capybara, but Ooh. not full, <laughs> fully looking. But yes, I feel like this. so precious. Now we don't have names for them yet. This is the girl and that's the boy. So they're brother and sister, so we might be looking for a new home for it's the brother. Sad. We might be looking for a new home for the brother, so that way we don't risk them breeding. Or making babies. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to But the guy them. wanted us to go ahead and take both of them since we were the only ones asking about it. But look at this precious little girl. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the formula some more, and we're going to get the boy out, and we're going to feed the boy. Oh, she's so... Okay, viewers, so I have this really big, decent size, kind of like rabbit, guinea pig cage that we're going to have them in. I'm going to have them here in our sunroom, so that way they get used to noises and sound and get used to us and our dog, our cats, so on and so forth. So this is definitely a big area. I'm going to go ahead and get them put in here have the little girl. I'm going to try to be careful. They're very... There you go. There you go. Here's the little girl for right now. I'm going to go ahead and get the boy. Pass him here, diver. Okay, here goes the boy. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so here's the little boy, and there's the little girl. They make guinea pig-like noises. It's okay, guys. Now, I might put a blanket in here, something that they can cuddle up to. Sounds like a little bird. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, so it's okay. No, it actually sounds like shadow. It's okay. Does it? Kind of? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put a, a towel in here, something that they can go ahead and cuddle against and stuff. There you go. There you go, Mama. Okay. Them, Let me get them set up, and I'll pick the phone back up here in a second. Okay, guys, so I got their, I got some towels in there for them. I got one in each corner, so they can go and snuggle up to it if they want. Kind of give them their space a little bit here, see how they do. You hear them? They make little tiny guinea pig sounds. I might give them some fresh veggies here in a little bit. See if they want to chew or nibble on any of it. But they just got the bottle about 30 minutes ago. We're going to give it about another hour and a half, two hours before we do another feeding. And then I'll do another feeding again right before bedtime for these little guys. Oh my goodness, like guys. Little... These things are absolutely precious. They sound like little tigers growling. Mm -hmm. So it's probably going to take them a little while for them to calm down and get used to us and stuff. So we'll see how well everything goes. It's that one making them but stay tuned guys, I'll pick up the phone a little later in the evening here when we probably do the next feeding for them. <laughs> Super cute. Stay tuned.